Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to create this fun Christmas wintery scene in an art journal. It's going to be a double spread. I did not start it as a double spread, but you will see how it ends up in the end. I'm going to prep my uh, background with a smooshing technique uh, using my Dilution inks, two colors. Um, although I'm using these two colors now, the, but I'm going to uh, uh, remove the blue color and I'm just going to leave the speckled egg. I'm going to recreate it again off camera just to save time. Here I'm using speckled egg and the blue color, but I wanted it to be really light and this uh, blue color made it really very uh, dark and vibrant. I didn't want it to be that dark. I wanted it to be light color behind my Christmas tree and the houses. So I'm going to repeat the exact same technique, but with just speckled egg and with um, a color that has pearlescent uh, part of it. And here is how the page turned out. I use my Cricut machine and I cut this tree. It's a template that I found at Cricut Gallery. And I'm just diluting some uh, colors. I want my page to be a little worn out. So I'm using really light olive color for the uh, base of the tree, which I'm going to distress even more later with Vintage Photo Ink. And here I'm using um, shiny gold color from the from my watercolors and I'm coloring the trunk of the tree and the top star that you add on the Christmas tree. This gold color inspired me to bring my um, gold acrylic marker and I'm gonna add a lot of accents everywhere in the art journal with this gold. Here I'm using my vintage photo uh, ink and I'm lightly inking the edges sort of distressing it to give it a vintage look. I want the dark genre to be a vintage Christmassy old like um, style um, yet modern uh, art journal. And here I'm distressing the star and later I'm gonna even distress it more. I'm gonna put my uh, tree together here is how the star looks and uh, this is how I put it together. The face on the tree, I'm just going to later add some ornaments with my enamel dots that I'm going to remove it. I don't want that face. Uh, to create the, this page before adding my, uh, I just used my hand before adding my spray inks and I cut all around it to make the page smaller showing the other page behind and then I added my color it left this beautiful um, wiggly line of uh, all around the border and then I took my vintage photo again and on the blue background uh, on the edges I added some not all over the, the page I added some vintage photo inking and here I'm inking again the golden star and the tree after I added the, the white snow to distress it even more. See, it became way more vintage looking. And then I thought the background needed a little of this vintage color so they, it would bring everything together. So I took one of Art My by Marlene uh, stencils. You will find it and all the tools and materials I'm gonna use today in the link down below. And I added just a little hint, very light. I did not re-ink my uh, blending tool. Very lightly, um, adding these textures just to give more interest and to put this vintage color on the background so it would match with the elements that I'm going to add on top. I also wanted to add some snowflakes, so I'm using this stencil from scrapbook.com. Um, it's sort of a whimsical star, sparkly shapes, so I'm gonna use them as if they are my snowflakes. 
and I'm lightly adding embossing paste. Just um, choosing some of the snowflakes, not all of them, so they would look random and scatter all over my sky. These white touches will also lighten my background. I don't want, I want it to be a very pale light uh, blue color at the back because I don't want it to take from the, the elements, the focal elements that I'm gonna add. So I'm just giving a light, subtle uh, interest on the background. And here's how it looks with the vintage ink and the snowflakes. Right now, I all in my mind, I want to uh, create only one side of the uh, of the art journal, but then later you'll see how it turned out. Here, I'm just measuring how big I want my houses to be. I'm going to create some houses. I'm going to show you how I just simply create them myself in this art journal. I'm trying my best to just show you how you can easily create the elements that you can put as focal points on your art journals. Here I'm using a paper collection from Echo Park called I Love Winter. These colors are exactly what I had in mind uh, when I was creating this journal and when I went to check my stash to choose uh, some papers for my houses and I found this and I was like, oh my God, this matches so much with the vintage look I'm going for. So I just measured the first house and then for the second house and so on. I'm measuring, comparing to the first big house. Here I cut all the parts. I just edited the, the video and I was um, the, where the part where I uh, cut all the other houses. I want them to be whimsical, so they're not um, symmetric in shape. And they are of different heights and the roofs are uh, in different shapes as well. So, and then I distressed them with the same vintage photo that so everything and every element on my page will just match together. Then, of course, we need to complete the scene by grounding um, uh, the elements that I have. So I'm just with my hand again, uh, cutting the edges of um, a strip that would resemble a um, snow bank below my elements, actually on top of my elements, to give uh, the look as if they're uh, standing on the snow. And here I'm playing with the placements so to choose the best um, placement for my houses. I am going to bring my acrylic marker, the gold acrylic, acrylic marker, and, and decorate the houses so they would match. I wanted the gold color to show. I really loved the star and how it looked. It's not showing on camera. It might show at the end, uh, the photos at the end, but it has really nice shiny uh, texture to it because the watercolor that I used for it was a pearlescent, it has a pearlescent look and it's giving the shiny. So I thought I'll bring more shine and so the houses would match with the tree. And I'm gonna give it some decoration with the gold marker. So here I'm placing my houses. The right and the left house are, is, are placed directly on the page. And the one in the middle, I placed on. Uh, I placed with a couple layers of papers, but of papers behind it, so it would be raised a little bit. And here to give the shadows, I'm using my Zig brush markers, and I'm using um, uh, darker shades for each uh, part that I want to give shade to. Uh, creating shadows all around my elements. So the, it's the sky here, so the shadow needs to be a darker blue and then a darker red for the roofs and the dark areas of the other houses. And then I brought my BG000 uh, Copic marker just to give this a uh, very light bluish tealish tint to my snow because they were two snow banks and they weren't, you cannot tell that they were two. They were all like blended together. So I thought bringing this uh, light blue color with the Copic markers on each edge of the snow banks will show that they're two. It will, I will even darken it more and it will show more 
later on. Here is the part where I bring my uh, gold um, ac uh, acrylic marker and I'm just creating windows and decorating all over the houses. The first layer, because uh, it gets saturated and the paper does not really show and shine as a gold, but as I leave it to dry and I put another layer, see, you will see how shiny and vibrant it's going to look and match my star. See, this is a second layer. See how shiny it is? I'll bring the or Jordan even closer so you can see by the end by the end of this part so you can really see how shiny and vibrant uh, the beautiful gold is life has been so busy recently we have a lot of events for scouts and we were getting the house, uh, removing the floor and adding new floor planks and painting. We have a lot happening in the middle of all the events. And um, uh, I was volunteering and see how beautiful the shiny gold is. It is so pretty. I also added the enamel dots as ornaments and then I thought I'll add them on the other side of the page on the right between the houses to bring everything together and here is the part I was going to put this wooden texture and add to it happy, happy holidays and I was choosing which one and then after a lot of thoughts I thought you know what this needs to be a double spread art journal so I'm gonna I cut the edges again with my hand and I'm gonna uh, recreate the blue background so everything will match together. Also added the snowflakes and added the stenciled ink and even added the snow, the snow banks, the hell side, so it will be a continuous scene, seamless continuous scene. Here I use the same paper so the spread will look um, continuous. I'm using the same papers to cut presents. Don't forget to check my Instagram link. I leave it down below in the description where I give a full video of how I created these little gifts. So I'm cutting them. I'm going to create something like four or five gifts and I'm even gonna create covers on them and I will uh, add some ribbons a more detailed video will be on Instagram so here they are I also distressed the edges with the same vintage photo ink I am gonna start by uh, gluing my uh, snowbank to the uh, uh, background so I can add my gifts behind it So I was telling you, I was volunteering for one of my kids' um, Christmas party uh, in his class and I was making a lot of crafts for it. There are 25 kids, so you can imagine, <laughs> do the math. We were, the, each kid is supposed to be preparing for them to create the Christmas tree with memories. They will write their own memories and all of the uh, leaves that they're going to add. So there is about 12, uh, uh, 20 leaf for each wreath and there are 25 kids so I had to cut all that <laughs> so much work I'm almost done I only need to uh, hot glue the ribbons so they can easily add it to the wreath and then they're going to write the, their memories on each leaf, uh, leaf and here are the final look of the presents I uh, some of them were added flat to the um, background and some of them I used the uh, uh, foam tape here I just uh, cut a circle using my uh, sidekick die cut machine to cut the circle as if it's an ornament and then I cut this other ornament and I'm distressing every ink 
everything so they would match together with the houses and the gifts. And very lightly because it's a very small ornament. And then I thought that the blue was too much. I cut again a red circle and I took my sticker that comes with the paper collection and I put it on this ornament. It was a snowflake sticker. So it gave this ornament a more fun Christmassy look. And then I'm bring I have this twine that I got from Michael's long time ago and I'm using it again and again and it's so fitting for the Christmas because it has these uh, uh, craft paper color and green and red. So it's just perfect for my art journal. And I'm going to stick it using my uh, crafty glue and I'm gonna uh, flip it around the page and I'm gonna secure it at the back with a strong washi tape. I'm gonna glue it first and then I'm gonna add my washi tape so it is secure and it doesn't move. And I'm going to add another uh, twine for the other ornament. Also, uh, I got the sticker from the paper collection so my ornaments would match together. And I cut these little hang ha uh, hangers for the ornaments and I colored them with the same watercolor gold color that I used for the star and I'm again gonna distress it so it would match with the other side of the page. It's very tiny, you need this finger dauber to be able to do it. And then I used uh, foam tape behind these ornaments, you will see how raised they are. And here I'm choosing more snowflakes to decorate the other side so the sky doesn't feel empty over here because I'm going to add the sentiments in the left page uh, sky. So I don't want the side to be feeling empty. So I'm adding these couple of snowflakes also from the paper collection. And then I'm going to add this big sticker that comes in the collection. It says all bundled up. So nice winter. I don't know. It's the font. It's the word itself. It's so pretty. And again, add them some, uh, some snowflakes to match. I was checking which one matches more the blue or the red. And then I went for the red. Then I was like, this snowflake is so cute. Um, I went for the blue and the red one. I was like, this is so cute. I have to put it somewhere. I just added next to the, to the gifts. Okay, fallen snowflake that got stuck between the gifts. Oh, it looks so pretty. And after I finished and I kept looking at it, I was feeling so bad that there is green on this side, but no matchy green on the other side. So I thought I'll just bring some uh, leaves. I, I cut them with one of my dyes from my stash, and then I'm going to distress them and stick them on top of my ornaments for more decoration to the ornaments and bring the green on this uh, black page, uh, uh, on the left page. So both of them are all brought together and they're matchy matchy. So I think I cut three shades of green. One is dark olive and light orange olive and then just green. And you'll see how big difference it makes when, see, it brings the pages together matches with the tree because the tree was the only green that is there on the page and you needed something more so the tree doesn't look odd. I even added some next to the gifts. Then I have my white gel pen and I'm going to add some shiny details on the roofs on, and on some windows and on the gifts. The shiny look just makes it look so good. Look how shiny the gold is of, uh, after I added a couple layers. Here I'm doing the same thing to the gifts. Adding some white touches. Really very little details but 
make your art journal look more rich. They might really not be, you might not be able to see it here, but it will really show more in the pictures. And I'll also bring the art journal closer so you can see all these details. And can you see here the ornaments? I just did hide the smiley face of the Christmas tree. See how pretty it is, the distressed edges of the art journal, the gifts, the, uh, the, the enamel dots, the shiny details, the green on the side, everything so matchy matchy, it looks so pretty. I had so much fun creating this art journal with you guys. I hope you did too. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot so I can even make more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.